All right, hey, what's going on YouTube? Name's Zeno, and uh, I wanted to do a review on this my Polaroid Land Camera 250 that I sent in to LandCameras.com and had them do some modifications to it. They installed an X Flash as well as a rechargeable battery pack in here. I uh, you can barely yeah, there's the uh, connector right there. So. Um, my mom's husband gave me this it was uh, his dad's before that and uh, so in the box they give you this uh, charger for it right so you plug it into your camera like so it's pretty straightforward you got a little light little LED thing so red and while it's charging and then uh, it'll turn green it was green earlier but I couldn't help myself. I've been shooting with this thing um, quite a bit today. So yeah, there's that. And then also, you um, you get this little uh, PC, and uh, I think it's a male uh, hot shoe, right? So let me unplug this. Hold on. So you um pop this bad boy onto here tighten it down and pop the case off and I was surprised um, when my mom's husband gave it to me it had the, uh, the little I guess warmer for the film as well as the the manual and the uh, self timer and the flash with a few bulbs actually so I could have used it if I wanted to so they land cameras cleaned it and did some little repairs on it for me as well as the the uh, upgrades there so let's see here boom you know everything they cleaned up the bellows um yeah it's hard to tell with this lighting i don't have the uh the best setup in the world oh, there we go okay um my uh cable you can see like the little where it had bent right here it got caught right there yeah so I wasn't able to really use the shutter but they uh, they took care of that for me I'm using uh, FP 1000 I believe is what the film is I've had that in here I was trying to shoot with the original pack that was in the camera when they gave it to me and that didn't work out too well so you know it is what it is so um, also they send you this little mini CD with the manuals and they have, um, I guess there's one One of the PDFs is uh, tips and tricks and the other is uh, from land cameras just explaining how to use it, what everything is and whatever and because I knew I was going to be shooting I went to the uh, local camera store today and got some uh, Fujifilm FP3000B so I don't know if I really need to be using the flash but it does take really great portraits. Um, here are some examples this is uh me with one of the loves of my life can yeah sort of sort of see that it's reflecting back um yep i was taking today with the flash um set at iso 75 on the camera the uh flash i was using was from my ae ones av ones the canon 188 alpha or a i guess for non-military folks um and again my uh, gordita crunch my heart my love and oh yeah forgot the other love of my life I didn't forget I was just kidding she was coming uh, so yeah this was my uh, christening photo for the camera and the flash uh, I shot this one at 150 and uh, I was pretty close to her uh, the lighting was roughly what it is now whatever the uh, I don't know what the Kelvin is on these uh, ambient lights here but uh, yeah, it's really washed out um, you know but I didn't expect perfection with these things I mean that's why I have mother so large right and then um, also land cameras actually to show me it was working these were the uh, the pictures they took of um, with the camera with their own film packs to show that hey the camera works and we're not just sending you a brick back even though this thing is freaking a behemoth um, so I don't know if I'm missing anything um, they clean they cleaned up the the range finder I believe the lens here and 
Um, I guess for those who don't know the camera that well, otherwise I don't know why you'd be looking at this video. Um, but if, in case you're interested, you know, you got your uh, ISO settings here, 75 and then um, 150, 300, 3000 and then back to one, uh, 75. And then uh, you have your little light and darken mode or um, knob here. And then the uh, electronic shutter here. So, And then up top here, you can see these little... Uh, yeah, that's not going to focus. It's the uh, built-in webcam on the laptop. So, sorry, it's not going to be the greatest. But, um, yeah, you can make the switch for that down here with the knob depending on uh, whether you're using, like, this 3000 film, for instance. Uh, there's a setting for that for 3000 speed only. Um, outdoors or flash, and then indoors without flash. Um, and then, obviously, you know, you have your number one here. You got the slide, left, right, whatever. And that brings the camera bellows forward, back to uh, help focus. And you know, one, the little knob here, the the shutter button, is uh, labeled with a two, and the uh, cable lock there is labeled with a three somewhere. Oh, there it is up top. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I mean, it's pretty simple. It's I got the film loaded in here, so. Um, Got it cocked, ready to go. I'm gonna put the flash on because in this horrible lighting, I'm gonna need it. So I'm gonna tighten this thing down. So I guess while I'm doing this, or trying to, I'm uh, I've been collecting a lot of old cameras. I have a Brownie Hawkeye that I got working, so I've been shooting with 120 on that, or yeah, a 620 spool with 120 film, you know, re-rolled. And a uh, Helena Prefect TLR. I'm having some issues with that one, but it looks like it's gonna work. Uh, I cleaned it up, got everything working, so pretty happy with that. And I got this bad boy. Um, just looks so legit. I mean, I don't know. Having that X flash on here, just the X sync, it's just it's amazing. And uh, I have an AE1 and an AE1 program, AV1 and a. Oof, few lenses and a Konica uh, what Konica is it? I don't know the meters broken so I've only shot something with it and haven't even developed but um so yeah I'm gonna take a picture real quick and then y'all can watch the developing process so I'll uh, let y'all see that so let me see here I got a bike right here that I'm gonna take a picture of and my gordita crunch is gonna probably be in this picture here all right, so I'm focused in. Oh snap! Oh, <laughs> so I'm gonna teach you about double exposures. Uh, I forgot to plug this thing in. I kind of. Oops. So I guess let's uh, lighten the heck out of that one. Let's see if that helps. So this is um, old school HDR. All right. Oh, my bad. It's not like this film's expensive or anything. Alright. There we go. Big difference. Alright, so... I wasn't having the best of luck with developing this earlier. Um, my girlfriend, who I love to death, said... Why don't you just let it sit in the camera? So I'm going to let it sit in the camera for a few seconds. And then uh, <clears throat> after I'm done with that, I'm going to pull it out and um, let the developing happen. Um, the temperatures, you know, you got to do them in Celsius here or convert to Fahrenheit. And <clears throat> based on your ambient temperature, <clears throat> will determine how long of the uh, development time you'll need in seconds. So for black and white, uh, it's it's faster than color. So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna pull this little tab here. So that came out right, and now you have this here. So pull straight out. All right, so. Gonna give it a few seconds, about a minute. 
I've been, I've been having luck with a minute, so we'll see how that goes. So we'll wait it out. And yeah, it's true. You don't need to shake this to get it to develop after after the fact because um, it's all chemical based and the uh, air reaction is not going to make anything happen. So. Um, And we're waiting and we're waiting. So I don't know, maybe I'll do a new video um, when I get my 60D in. Excited about that. I'll be shooting with uh, old school manual M42 mount lenses. And I've, I'm not sure if I'm going to use my FD mounts because I'm not too keen on having the glass element there and losing the stops and just to have the infinity focus. So. I don't know, I'm still debating on that, so I guess it's just more reason to have a couple 28s and 35, 28s and all that madness, so, alright, just rip this little piece up here off, right, and I'll let y'all see the magic before I do, just pull it apart, boom, yeah, oh, oops, yeah, sorry about that, boom, so there's your, I guess, negative portion, I'm still trying to find out how to save these if I can reprint or figure it out I don't know <clears throat> so these things are going to be laying around my apartment for until I figure it out but I mean you can see that the flash really helps um, there's a little bit of vignetting up in this area here and down in the corners but I mean you, you don't shoot vintage to have perfection they each one has its own character and and that's what I've really started enjoying about it is the character <clears throat> that each individual camera has you know you you learn a little something about it and uh, you learn to I guess just work with what it gives you and go from there but um I mean they're moderately sharp you can tell what it is and for just a point and shoot and to have the upgrades and the battery supposed to last like four months on one charge you supposedly I obviously I haven't had it that long I just got it this morning and who I'm, I'm I'm happy I was like a kid in the candy store with this thing I don't know if I was more excited to open this box or see my girlfriend here waiting for me when I got home from work um, oh both both that's a good cop out I'm just kidding I love you on it um so big thank you to my mom's husband obviously for giving me the camera because without him i wouldn't be doing this video i wouldn't have a reason and even bigger thank you to land cameras Corey, you're the only one i've worked with so thank you very much for doing what you do and tailoring and all that to the uh, land camera owners out there uh i went into a local camera store today showed them you know the upgrades and everyone was surprised so don't be surprised if you get a little more um, clientele your way you know I'm hoping for the best and hopefully I'll get a 350 to send y'all's way I don't know but uh you know hope y'all like the video if y'all got any questions I'll answer as I can if not uh, enjoy